Well, now we know why his frat brothers aren't looking for him. Though his parents say that they are sad and they are just as devastated in this whole situation as them. Clearly, we have new info that came out today stating, you know, they went back home and they lawyered up. Why? Because they were on the phone with Riley as he was walking away from the bar. I understand guiding somebody that's under the influence over the phone isn't the easiest thing, but like, if you were more than capable to get on the phone on FaceTime with him and direct him where to go, or on the phone, I don't even know if it's FaceTime, either on the phone or on FaceTime, why couldn't you just go walk with him? I, I don't get it. You know, if it wasn't for the witness that spoke up today and, you know, released the news saying he was on the phone with his friends and his friends were going to bring him home, we would have never known about this. We would have, well, obviously yeah. it would have came to sight once his phone log came in or whatnot, but we wouldn't have known as soon. And I just think it's really messed up that his friends didn't stay to look for their, their brother. Other than that, we know that they are now looking at the dam that's connected to the river. So, you know, like I said in my first video, all we could do is pray that he's found safe and that this investigation takes a turn for the good.